So I'd like to call to order uh, the Romeo District Library meeting at the uh, Grobner Library in Washington, Michigan. It's Wednesday, February 8th, 2023, and it's 7.02 p.m. So with that, can I, uh, we go ahead and do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So we have no public participation uh, so far, but um, we're hoping that we get some people. <laughs> Maybe the next election we'll get some more. <laughs> but uh, can uh, I get a uh, motion for approval of the agenda? So moved. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And can I get? A motion for approval of the consent agenda. So moved. Second. All right, and can we do a roll call? Uh, Servito Smith? Yes. Arcee? Yep. Miller? Yes. Grandson? Yes. And Marino? Yes. All right. All right, uh, with that, we're down to three minutes set now, so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go ahead and do our director's report okay. and be out of here at 7 15. Okay. Um, start on a positive note. We received an unsigned comment card. Um, we get comment cards every month, but mostly they request for materials. That's why you guys don't see very many of them. Um, but this one it says As a patron for several years, I just want to express my gratitude for Dominic and his exemplary service. He's always kind, patient, respectful, and eager to be of assistance and go above and beyond. So he's really I'll second that. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. a good one. Um, for community outreach, I found out that the Washington Township Supervisor's Office um, had I don't, pulled some strings, made a phone call. I'm not sure how it all went down, but we're getting a piece of artwork to display from the Detroit Institute of Arts. From oh, cool. for the, as part of the Inside Out, so it's a reproduction of a piece of artwork. Okay. But it'll be on display outside the front doors here Perfect. from May to October or November. November. Okay. And um, no cost to us, just an extra interesting cultural thing on the way into the library. So. And that's um, a copy, though you said. It's yeah, it's a reproduction. You have to be. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, do they put any press out about where that's located? They or do. Is that something we should do. Okay. They do, they do, but I'm going to invite some. Yeah. yeah. And did Keyser have one? Keyser had one a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think before COVID maybe. Okay. They do. Yeah. Um, Great. Yeah, so good. yeah, that was, <clears throat> thank you to Supervisor Praviti's office for getting that taken care right. of. Um, for facilities, the sewer production is complete finally, and uh, they'll be back in the spring to grade the area, and then we can replant trees. Because if you've been back there, you can see that we can see straight through to the field when it used to be all beautiful evergreens. Yeah. So, um, the far west light in the main parking lot, the one right down here, yeah. um, will be repaired within the month. And actually, they started today. Okay. So, um, it's wiring at ground level that's the problem oh. so they're they were jackhammering today and they're going to bore between so two lights between this one and that one mm -hmm. and redo the wiring underneath and that should be fixed is that with all the orange cones yes from our fan? okay yep that's exactly what that is um for continuing education i went to a conference called lib learn x which is presented by the american library association at the end of january mm -hmm. it happened to be in new orleans which is where my brother lives so I stayed in town and saved the library a little money. Oh, so <laughs> and had a wonderful time. Um, I attended sessions on successful meeting facilitation, post-COVID library services, marketing the library during difficult times, diverse voices in entertainment, making positive changes in our communities, and creating public libraries where everyone is welcome. Um, I also got to see our new lockers in action. They were the the very newest um, addition, which is what we're getting. And I got to see they had one there, and they were displaying it for everybody. And, so that was cool. 
Um, I also got to uh, attend multiple author talks that were really good. So, okay. kind of inspiring. So, any big ideas that we're going to hear about for marketing the library? Or? Well, a lot of little things that we can put to put to use. Um, the the marketing one about difficult times, marketing during difficult times, was about how to handle, um, how to get out in front of things like book challenges and to do some really positive marketing ahead of times about the importance of intellectual freedom and things like that. Okay. When it's not at a controversial time, mm -hmm. when it's not in response to something, but just to, to get the message out ahead of time mm -hmm. about how, you remember this wonderful book that we all read in high school? It's been banned, isn't that crazy? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, last week, I participated with a small group of Michigan Library directors in media training. Um, we had to do mock interviews with members of the press. She was rattled. I was <laughs> rattled <laughs> on controversial topics. They set up a scenario for us where a community group um, wanted to use the meeting room and they met all the criteria and we followed all of our policies and so it was no problem. We were going to allow them to use it but they were having a speaker in who was known for his racist views and mm. controversial hate speech. Um, but. There we, they were following all the policies and criteria, and we're all about intellectual freedom and the free exchange of ideas. And any group that meets criteria can meet in our meeting room. So I had to justify that to members of the press who were just coming at me. Wow. <laughs> it was, wow. it was, my mouth was completely dry by the time we were done. Oh <laughs> I was just gosh. shaking. But, um, but they taught us some really good stuff about how to handle that and, and how to stick to your key points and to keep coming back to that and all that kind of thing. But one of them was the former editor of the Free Press, oh and the God. other one used to run the NBC newsroom in the Cleveland station. Oh. So these guys knew what they were talking about and had been those reporters and have trained reporters to do interviews like this. Oh so um, it was really, it was very difficult, but a powerful and an important learning experience. Um, for marketing, Lisa, who is our communications specialist, attended a webinar on completing a communications plan for a public library, and she and I are going to be discussing the feasibility and necessity of having an official one for RBL. Mm -hmm. um, she also, oh, the bugs are back. Um, she also finished a postcard to promote Romeo Reads, which was should be arriving in your mailboxes any day if you've already seen it. She did a really nice job on that, and they've got some really great programs planned for Romeo Reads. The books are available starting today for purchase, so okay. they're at the libraries um, at both locations. For state aid, we completed and submitted our state aid report this month, so the library is eligible to receive payments from the state this fiscal year again. That's a joint effort between William and Carla and me to get all the statistics together and get the numbers together and everything, and it's, um, it's quite a process, but we got it done. Um, for Friends of the Library, they're going to be selling new tote bags, and it's going to have just the Romeo District Library logo on it. Okay. Um, instead of a, any other graphic this year, they're just going to do the logo because people have been asking for that. Okay. So <clears throat> I think they're doing it with the colors on black and then the colors on uh, like cream colored canvas okay. bag like they have now. So that should be attractive. Um, I had a really feel good moment. Um, the daughter and son in law of Iris Eugenia Allward came in. They were from Florida, I believe, maybe South Carolina. Anyway, Iris Allward was a resident of Washington Township for more than 50 years, and she was a regular at the library. Um, she got home delivery and um, loved talking to the librarians and staff and. Um, so in lieu of flowers, her family asked that people made donations to the Romeo District Library in her honor. That's so um, we got another $100 check today. Yeah, I think it was like $500, and then we got another $100 check. So it was probably like $600 in, yes. in yeah. donations. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So Good. she moved down to stay with her daughter a year before she passed away. She passed away on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. um, and we think she may be related to the Allwards that had the the market down by the pantry. So, not sure. Um, upcoming <coughs> programs, um, let's see, um, the Whiskey Charmers, is that tomorrow? I know, does that sound good? It's not whiskey tasting, Bill. 
Um, anyway. Yeah, once I read the whole thing. Caesar had, has a Valentine cookie decorating um, this Saturday. Um, there are three upcoming online author presentations this month, including Lana Harper for Back in a Spell, um, Grace M. Cho, who wrote Taste Like War, and then um, Sadeka Johnson, who wrote Yellow Wife in the House of Eve. The House of Eve was just picked by either the Today Show or Reese Witherspoon as their book of the month. So that should be a good one. Um, and then William Kent Kruger, is, who is kind of a big name, is going to be doing one in April that we're probably going to have a watch party for. Um, next Thursday, the 16th, Painting with Cindy. They're going to paint mm. canvases. They're going to paint a picture of sprigs of lavender. So when it's gray and ugly out, you can do a little spring painting. Um, Saturday the 18th is Puzzle Day at Grobner, so you can bring a team in and do a puzzle. Last time they got done, and do you remember, Linda? It was like a record. I know. I know. They were, <laughs> I a team of three ladies came in and did a 500 piece puzzle in like an hour or something. Yeah, wow. So, <laughs> um, Saturday the 25th at 2 o'clock, we're having a polar bear party here for ages, kids, or ages 2 and up. And um, there will be snacks and activities and stories and crafts. Um, Thursday, March 2nd at 7 o'clock. Um, Grabner's hosting the Whiskey Charmers for some alt country music. So, and then we have all of the same story times and regularly scheduled team programs throughout the month. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention that wasn't finalized when I did this was that um, we have a staffing change in that one of our um, full time circulation clerks, Sydney, she's at the front desk now. She's got long, dark hair and glasses. Mm -hmm. She is. Um, soon going to be going to uh, graduate school for a master's in library science. Mm -hmm. wow. And so um, I promoted her to an outreach specialist. Instead of hiring an outreach librarian, mm -hmm. we promoted her to a specialist and she's <coughs> in charge of RDL on wheels. So she'll be doing all of the outreach and the community yeah. um, contacts and all of that stuff. And she'll be getting in touch with Parks and Rec to do some of the concerts in the park and yeah. all that kind of thing. So yeah. So that's coming together that's and it's going really well. Yeah. And she's super excited, so yeah. So it'll be one person kind of coordinating yeah. that whole thing. Which exactly. And she's going to take it off the place of some of the librarians who oh. have enough to do. So, um, and also the ninth grade academy, we were on Wednesdays taking the van um, like we did for the middle school, but nobody was coming out really because they were afraid they were going to miss stuff in their classes and things like that. So um, we contacted the principal and proposed the idea of a uh, pop-up library during lunch hours. Mm -hmm. So they had their first one today and it went really well. Okay. So they have a table with the Romeo District Library tablecloth and they're there with a bunch of popular new books and nice. the kids can come up they're during lunch hour. They're setting up inside the building. Yep, they, they, they get to go inside the, the building with the, with the sign and the table. And, Good. Yeah. That's so, great. And if that goes well, we're gonna try uh, the high school. Because I heard from a high school student that it's really hard to get to the media center at the high school because it's not open before school and it's not open very late after school. You <coughs> can't go during lunch because the doors are locked from the cafeteria to the. Yeah. So, yeah. So we want those readers. We want to encourage readers. So we'll see if um, we can get in there and and get a little more love of reading going and Good. reading for leisure. Yeah. 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 Um, just real briefly, is that um, to anyone who has a grandchild of a teenager age or a child, anybody watching or anything, um, I actually brought mine in the other week and she said, oh my gosh, I love the library. I haven't been here in a little while and it feels <laughs> so good. And so she wants to come on a weekly basis. Yeah, so good. those teenagers, they still love the library. And good. It's a lot of feel good. Um, feel good moments to bring them back and because they, they get had so nostalgia. much fun. Yes. Yeah, I remember so my thing for story time, but that was so long ago when I was yeah. little. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it looks great and the teen section is really nice. Yeah. Therese, our teen librarian, is the one who does the visits to the schools and uh, she orders all the teen material and she does a great job keeping things current and, and attractive over there. And yes. Yeah. She gets the very best. So. Absolutely. My daughter only had four and she wanted to take 20, but we can go away. That's great. And I just wanted to comment one more thing on the statistics, if you happen to look at that. 
Um, we don't have Wi-Fi statistics for this month because the, the company that provides Wi-Fi failed on that. <laughs> Oh, no. So they said, oh, <laughs> no, we don't have that for you. So um, we will try to get that for next month, but it, we anticipate that it's holding steady. So okay. we'll see. Can you tell us what the status is of the digitization of the Romeo Observer? Like, how far along are we? Do we know? Yeah. Um, are we not there yet? Sorry. No, that's OK. They, I'm trying to see, if they had their standing party in the gym. Yeah, I, I was just curious. Yeah, good question. yeah I'm not yeah. sure where they stand right now as far as how many years they've gotten done, but I know that they are really booking through it. So um, I'll find out and find out for certain what it is. Yeah, she's just sitting in here that he's just yeah. completed another box of additions. Right, okay. I was just curious. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see if you can like project when they'll be, when done. It'll be done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They anticipate by um, late spring, early summer. So. Okay. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's fast. Yeah. Okay. Well, now that they have the, they got an update on the software and the machine and the and the people to do it. Okay. So it's it's not complicated to do it. I don't think you just okay. have to be really careful. Right. And. Um, okay. It's moving right along. Good. And we haven't heard anything. More from the one group that nope. wanted to help. Okay. Mm -mm. They're working on other stuff apparently. Okay. That's I heard that third from a third party. <coughs> they did meet with um, the Rochester Museum because I was at the museum and oh. I inquired about whether or not they had made contact. Yeah. And so they did meet one time. Okay. So they put them him in touch with some others. Okay. But they haven't heard anything more from him okay. either. So. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, any other questions? <clears throat> the machines we have in the lobby, the pop and that. Oh, the vending machines? Uh -huh. Yeah. Are we realizing anything nope. from that? No. Mm -mm. We don't sell enough. I didn't hear. We do not sell enough. So there has not been any profit sharing. So, okay. so yeah. we need to all buy something on the way out. <laughs> well, that's just right. a convenience for patrons. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I, I was here Saturday picking up my pack, mm -hmm. and I do my usual. It took a while to work my way through the whole building and back, and I was sitting near the surf desk, and mm -hmm. I think I saw like five or six people walk out and get something yeah. mm -hmm. out of the machine yeah. and come back in. So yeah. But it really isn't that lucrative of a deal for the company that puts them in. I think that if they had their druthers, they probably, you know, because they don't have to service and fill them. They really that often. No, uh, they don't come out very often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it, it is, is certainly a, it's a nice service, service, for, nice service for the patrons. But right. yeah, Thank it's not the money maker it. I hoped it would be. Yeah. Yeah. I've got another idea about that, though, and I'm going to talk to you about it next month. So. Okay. <laughs> another idea. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Um, may I say yeah. something? Yep. I just wanted to say, um, you always bring back such um, excitement mm -hmm. when you go to these continuing education mm -hmm. um, events, which you go to a lot, and that's wonderful. I'm so glad that you can do that. I'm so mm -hmm. glad you have the time to do that, and that your staff just runs so well even while you're gone. So thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, it was it, it was great. One of the authors I saw was Brian Selznick. He is David O. Selznick's nephew or son. He was a filmmaker. Anyway. He, uh, he's friends with Steven Spielberg and the books he does, they're working on making a movie out of it and he was there to talk about the book and he kept talking about Steven. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, no big deal. But um, yeah, it was, it was really cool. They were a lot, and I got to have lunch every day with other directors and catch up with people and, and find out what's going on. And, and I told Bill the other day when he was in, every time I talk to other, every time I network, I end up feeling, like, I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> Things are good. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. 
Uh, Joanne, did you have anything? Uh, yeah, wanted hey, I wanted to recognize um, this week, um, Grobner and Keys are both locations got mentioned in the Macomb Daily. Yes. With a oh, big okay. list of events. Nice. Yes. Yeah, a lot. So. We, um, Thank you. We addressed that with the um, with the person and said, hey, listen, you've gotten this wrong so many times <laughs> that um, they've messed up the dates or not entered it and we've sent it in and it's not there or whatever. And so we were really pleased to see that they got it right this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was great. So we're going to see that, so that's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So, good. Um, but nothing else. Carla does her usual wonderful job. Yes. So we're keeping an eye on things, but. Okay. Yeah. Pretty busy with W2s. Yeah, we just yeah, finished yeah, all the W2s stuff. today. Yeah. So oh, they had to be corrected. QuickBooks did them once and then we had to. Oh, she called them and told them that. Yeah, yeah, because we are a government and we have this 457 plan for our employees and there's no oh. entry for that in QuickBooks. Oh. And so there's a certain amount of manual stuff oh. that she has to do, but QuickBooks went ahead and mailed them out anyway. <gasps> Carla has spent probably in total <laughs> three and a half hours on hold with QuickBooks in the last couple of weeks. Oh and hanging up thinking that she had it all wrapped up and they went ahead oh. and did it anyway. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, mm -hmm. if you okay. see her, be gentle. <laughs> wow. Did you have anything more? I, I just, oh, yeah, I had a real quick question. Yes. And I was going to ask it when you were talking in the continuing education section. But yes. the new lockers, Yes. I know it was mentioned before that they're going to go in, is it the spring? March. Or in March. In March. So Seven right March. around the corner. Mm -hmm. And then where again are we putting those at? They're going to be, it's going to be as you're coming up to the front door on the right side. Um, here. The main one. Okay. Uh -huh. And then the one at Keysar will be on the porch. Okay. All right. Yep. That's so, question. and they both come with canopies, so they'll be sort of protected, and um, they're going to be so easy to use, and the patrons are sure. How are they, I mean, obviously it uses electricity, we're not going to have any issues with that? Do we have no, we're anything? getting an electrician in to wire, to get the wiring done properly, and to run an inter internet line, because okay. you can't do Wi-Fi on those, they have to oh. be hardwired to the internet. Okay. So, um, we're going to do that at both buildings, and we've got that all set. We have an engineer who's assigned to us who's doing the whole thing, and he'll be here for three full days for the installation and training. Good. Okay. So, Perfect. There's Thank another you. good press release opportunity. Yes. To let people know that's out there. Do we have friends in the in the news, local papers here? The um, we're in regular contact the with the with the record. Okay. Yeah, but the Macomb Daily, uh, because we got such a good response from that person, we might see about that. <laughs> good. It's, it's well, March's well. reading month, and we're making reading more accessible, so. Good. Yeah. The, the oh, record, that's perfect. Um, my, I know of Chris, who's on the record, mm -hmm. and he's just now on the board at WBRW. Oh, oh so, okay. Okay. So. Good. If you ever have anything that yeah no I'm in regular <coughs> contact with um, Stacy at the record okay she gets in touch with me for a lot of stuff for quotes okay. and things like that so okay good yeah okay. and I've, I've talked to him a couple of times okay yeah Any other question anything else uh, no I, I just think it's it's a good idea um, that we somehow advertise it that we oh yeah it's coming in so mm -hmm. I mean we could even do something like the first person picking up their book you know like yeah. do something clever something yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I want to do I want to do something big, like some signs out there and, and stuff, and um, to make it a big deal and, and have. We're supposed to do videos too, a how-to video. WBRW has oh, already oh, talked okay. to us about doing a how-to video about there you scan go. your car and the oh, locker box open. Yeah. Just a quick thing that they can have yeah. online and on their like interstitials and the, on the station. So, yeah. Okay. And and the company, the locker company, wants us to do that as well because this is the very newest edition of these lockers mm -hmm. and they don't have a demo video yet for these oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah they said if we did they would use it yeah. Nice. Yeah, to go nice. off your idea is that you could almost say like one of the first 50 uh, patrons that use mm -hmm. the locker will get x y or z mm -hmm. or something like that mm -hmm. or be entered in a raffle for or they get an extra yeah. something inside the locker with their yeah. books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A little tote bag. Yeah. yeah. There's lots of things. While supplies yeah. last. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Okay. So I guess uh, director's report, we're done. Yeah. Um,
you want to do trustees or are you kind of? That kind of wasn't was kind yeah. of, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, Bill, any trustees? Like I say, I was in last Saturday and mm -hmm. I spent a couple hours here and it was very busy and it, it was good to sit by the desk as you come in the door and watching all the little kids mm -hmm. come in and jumping up and down and racing to go to the children's section and you know to talk with them and say did you find any books you know and mom's standing there with them. <laughs> 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 And one little girl, I said, well, how many did you get? And she said, put them down, Mom. And she counted them. <laughs> Every one well, of them. I was like, listen, mister. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, was, it was fun to watch that and see the excitement. And uh, the, the adult section was was very busy also, so it was my first time out in a ball, and <coughs> I, I enjoyed making this the spot I ended up going to. So. Good, good. Okay. Yes, um, I don't really have anything. Um, it's, it is nice to see our physical circulation numbers are up, and um, that closer to what they used to be, and oh, I did notice that the inter-library loans are quite high, and mm -hmm. that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So it just makes us appreciate that we're part of that. That we have that, yes. yeah, yeah, so available. That co-op, it makes yes. our collection so much bigger. So much, that's yeah. wonderful. That's it. Okay. Anything? No, I'm all set. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. um, nothing from a, a report basis, but I just. Something came to mind. Remember how we got that heater? The what? The, the heater. The, oh, the boiler? Yeah, the boiler. Yeah. Did they all get fixed or whatever? I yes. Remember it was kind of. It was shooting right. flames. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, the the new boiler is super energy efficient, mm -hmm. and uh, it takes up like I don't know maybe third a third of the space. Of the space. Yeah. 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 And uh, the the guys who installed it did a fabulous job, and they explained everything to us. Some of it went right over my head, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> it's it's very nice and it's working beautifully. Okay. okay. Yeah. I remember yeah. the last time. And was... we'll have the new rooftop <laughs> unit in the next couple of months. So. Okay. Yeah, it's coming yeah. together. Okay. Yeah, and um, Chuck Shibakasi, our facilities contract person, is right. going to be here next month, so oh. that you all can meet him and he'll be oh, in. Oh, terrific. Good. Yeah. So, okay. Um, and then, were you planning on um, any meetings at Kizar? We usually do in the fall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, next item is old business, which there's all none. So, <laughs> uh, the next item is new business, and there is. An item gifts and donations policy update. Yes. And you want to talk about that? Um, this is one that hadn't been updated in my tenure, so um, but it has come in handy a couple times. So I wanted to. Um, we had a discussion about it at a recent directors meeting and about gifts and donations. So I decided to check mine, and there were a couple of libraries that were cited as having really good policies. So I used okay. theirs to sort of fine tune ours a little bit. I added some things, including information about gifts of artwork and gifts to the staff. We didn't have anything in there about uh -huh. gifts to the staff. Um, there are patrons who sometimes like to tip. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, really? All the time. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 Like, like, here's the... Here's a five, $10, yeah. gift cards. That's nice. It, it is nice, but it's not appropriate. Right. So um, no, they can bring you food or plants. Because we do get plants wow. from people. Okay. People bring flowers. their flowers in from right. their gardens, or yeah. they bring us a plant, they bring us a plant out of Christmas or whatever. Yeah. 
and that's fine. We can all share it and enjoy it. We can share it with the public, or if they bring treats for us, that's fine too. So, but the um, I just it makes Dominic pretty uncomfortable, yeah. I think. So to have something in writing will make it a little bit easier for him to say, "I'm sorry, I can't take it." Good. So, um, and then. It also clearly refer, refers back to our material selection policy in reference to donations of materials or money to purchase materials. Um, we have a couple of times had people who have um, said, I wanna donate these books, or I wanna donate money for you to buy these particular books, but I wanna make sure they never get weeded. And we don't have anything in this library that is not subject to weeding, because we have to keep things up to date, and if they haven't been used for so long, you know, it's time to move on to something else. And so um, we can't guarantee that. So I wanted to make sure that that was clearly stated as well. So I just had a question. Mm -hmm. um, there's a comment here that says we'll provide a descriptive receipt upon request. So we don't recognize gifts, like even a cash gift. Oh no, we send letters. We do. We, we do. Like send, we send letters every time. Like, yeah. yeah. No, we send a, We send them a thank you letter. Okay. Yeah. With the value that they can use right. for tax. For tax. Right. right. Okay. If they donate materials, yeah. we uh, we do not assign a value to it. Yeah, it right. says that it's yeah. subject okay. to the. Okay. Yeah, they have to assign the value. But if they send us a five hundred dollar check, we thank them for the five hundred dollar donation. Yeah. Should should that okay. be included as part of the policy? You think or not? It's just a. Procedure. Okay. You know, it's. Uh, I wouldn't make it a part of the policy. I mean, it's shouldn't. I mean, because they have record of their check and for a tax purposes, and yeah, then we turn around and we do it as well. You know, but to make that as a part of the policy, I don't know. Well, that way at least you, it's for sure it's done. Yeah. Well, yeah. and for even our record keeping. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I don't know. Like, how do you show constructive receipt, and then, like, how does it get booked? Well, I guess we have a, an account for private donations. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know that's not a careless thing. It's you know, so and we have copies of all the checks. Oh, well, we have you know the checks because I deposit them from my desk. So I mean, we have all of that. We yeah. have to have you know that, but um, so maybe that's more procedural you know, than part part of the policy. Right. I think, yeah, I think procedural. I mean, it's a good procedure, but I don't know what that would yeah. Kind of yeah, it's part of Linda's job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Linda Luther gets one every year. Okay, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. All right. I guess I'm okay with Okay. That. Well, thank you for the question. Um, any other questions? No? We're probably going to do material no. selection policy next because that hasn't been updated for a while. What, what, what do you material selection oh, policy? So well, then I, I'll make yeah, a motion ahead. to approve the updated edition of the gifts and donations policy as written. I'll second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Very good. And we Can I just ask one other yeah, unrelated? Yeah. Are we going to get like quarterly updates on your progress towards the strategic plan? Yeah. Like we're okay. Mm -hmm. So we're. That's good. We'll start some regular yeah. schedule. Yep. Good. good. Okay. Um, no public participation. And, no? We don't want to ask any questions. So we're home in time for Jeff. All right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. So with that, can I get a motion to adjourn? You don't know what Jeff's on Can I get a second? Second. Second. Okay. All right. Aye. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.